check out this color. Is this not beautiful? This is a 1982 Porsche 911 SC. The very first Porsche I ever drove was a 911 SC. I'll tell you more about that when we go for a drive. It was about this era as well. Uh, this is absolutely stunning. So the backstory on this, and thanks again to Core Motor Cars here in Vancouver for letting me borrow this car for the day, is Core from Core Motor Cars had this car about five years ago. Mechanically, it was fine, but the paint was tired and the interior was not the best color combination for the exterior of this car. So what he did is he had it totally re sprayed new rubber seals around the windshield front and back new rubber on the bumpers front and back to really refresh this car it is the original color and this dark chocolate brown really is of today actually a lot of people who are doing the retro look on newer 911s to make them look kind of like this this car also has had the Fuchs style wheels added to it, 17 inch wheels. Now you have to realize that if you go with the 16 inch wheels, they don't sit in the fenders the way that these do. And that's what I love about this and why a lot of people, when they sort of reverse date their cars, go with this look the way you have the larger sidewall, the 17 inch Fuchs style wheels. It just really looks great on this era of car. So all of that work was done on this car about five years ago, a fresh paint job, and it still looks fantastic today. So if you don't follow along with the Porsche cadence and the names and all that kind of stuff, what the heck is an SC? Well, you might know all the different numbers of, say, the modern 911s. There's the current 911, which is called the 992. Before that was a 991. Before that was a 997, 996, 993, a 964, and so on. But if you go before that, it was just called the Carrera, and before that, was this, the 911 SC. It's really only for Porsche nerds that get into all this kind of stuff, but those that are into it, I mean, are really into it. And those that are into it would really get off on a car like this. So let's get in, I'll show you around the inside, show you the great color combination with this dark chocolate brown on the outside, and I'll tell you about my first time driving a 911. Welcome to the inside of this 911 SC. This car originally had the same color on the outside, that beautiful dark, rich chocolate brown, which actually needs to be seen in person to appreciate it. And on the inside, this had a tan interior with black, sort of like a deviated color. And uh, Core at Core Motor Cars decided five years ago to switch it out to a brand new interior and make it all black. So new seat covers, new foam, new carpet, new door cards, redid the interior to make it all black. And it really does work with this color combination. I had um, a black Carrera 4S that had the cashmere interior and I added more black. I didn't change the entire thing, but I added more black elements to the inside because I think it does actually look better. So these are little cars and that's one of the charming things about them as 911s have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. You get in this and it's just little. The windshield isn't far away. You can touch the other door from this side. It's, it's a little, little car. Oh, also you get a little bit of um, Ford inside of this. I'm kidding. Uh, the Blaupunkt radios at this era had were named after cities. I remember the one that a lot of people wanted was the Blaupunkt Montreal. You probably remember that if you remember this era of radio. This one's got a Dearburn radio. <laughs> so that's why it's got some Ford. So this particular 911 SC, originally sold in the United States, it's coming up on 125,000 miles. And it's amazing when you drive these cars, car is almost 40 years old and has 125,000 miles on it. How when they're well maintained and looked after and, and basically updated with things that need to be replaced, they end up driving the same way they did back in the day. This is the same way it smelt, looked, felt, everything back to 1982. So my story is I used to work in valet parking at the racetrack in Toronto called Greenwood Raceway. It was a horse racing track. They had standard bred and thoroughbred horse meets. And I was always pushing to get into valet parking. I think I was like 17 years old. And I finally got a chance to drive all of these high rollers cars that came in, all of my dream cars. Now I only got to drive them about 500 meters, but still I got a chance to drive them. And I can clearly remember the day when a 911 SC Targa in guards red with a black interior pulled up 
and everybody, all the, all the valet attendants would run and try to get their hands on the car first. Anyway, I got there first because I was a tall, skinny kid and um, I got a chance to drive it. And I can, I can remember that moment like it was yesterday. And those are the sorts of memories. Porsche builds on this mystique, but it's real. The mystique of the brand is there. It's real. People love this brand. They love these cars. And that's why all these years later, they're still highly collectible. Now, I've been lucky enough to own two air-cooled 911s. They were 993s. And having gone through that process twice, my advice to anybody that's looking at buying a used Porsche, whether it's air-cooled like this or a newer water-cooled car, is spend the money and get the best example you can. Don't look for a cheap car because a cheap car ends up costing you way more money in the long run. You want to buy, you know, you want to try and find some value, but you also want to buy the best example you can. And when you're buying a car like this that's almost 40 years old, you're paying for the previous owners, owners, multiple owners, dedication to maintenance and getting things that need done on them done. And that's really the job of the person that takes this car over is to keep that maintenance up so then that person can pass it on to the next Porsche enthusiast. There's what's that saying? You don't actually own one of these. You just look after it until the next guy gets it. And there is something to be said for that because how many 40 year old cars like this are still worth a ton of money and are still sought after in the marketplace like this? There's not a lot. Okay, so the previous two owners of this car have really put a lot of work into it. This has a rebuilt transmission with new synchros, a new clutch. You've got new suspension. Uh, this car also has new bushings. It's had a recent service with the valves done and a whole lot of things. There's a long, long list and I encourage you to go to corecars.com and have a look for yourself. But these cars, it really all comes down to who owned them and how dedicated they were. Now, as I mentioned, this is a little car with a three liter six cylinder making all that beautiful noise behind and the power goes to the rear wheels only. There was no all wheel drive in the early 80s. That didn't come until the early 90s. And this car has just 201 horsepower, but it smiles per mile. You're so low to the ground. You're so connected. Direct steering, as I mentioned, your nose isn't far away from the windshield. You've got the big tachometer behind the steering wheel. It's this visceral experience. You know, high horsepower cars that I call point and squirt cars, you lose interest in those after a while. Trust me, you want a car that you can learn and work and get to know and enjoy for many, many years. It's a five-speed gearbox and it's the nice cadence of the ratios of the gearbox make it very rewarding. Later gearboxes, when they went to the six speed, the, like the one I had, had a really long second gear. This one is what people like. I could go on all day about <laughs> old Porsches and how cool they are and how sought after they are and how great they are to own and how you get a lot out of it. Anyway, I'm just prattling on now. It's a fun car, cool color. I like it. I like it a lot. You know what's amazing about driving older Porsches, whether it's one from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, so on, when you get them, they all have a similar characteristic. And I would encourage you to look long and hard and find a car of this era from basically 40 years ago that still drives as well as this car does. That's the one great thing about older Porsches. If they're well maintained and looked after, they drive like they did when they were originally made. So thanks again to Core Motor Cars here in Vancouver for letting me borrow this car for the day. Love the color. This is totally back in style now. A lot of people, if they want to sort of retrofit their newer cars, they're going for the fun colors that were sold in the 70s and the 80s. And this is one of them. I do a fun, cooler, collect car every Friday on the channel so make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell and I'll see you next week